And we're back. Hello. That, I think, short sword has a weight of 11. While that and Eternium short swords I remember to be 20. But I think what this is, is a light adamantium short sword. My item identification foo is still good. Still just fine. Now, I'm not sure what the odds of actually finding it downstairs in here are. I mean, I do have a scroll of item detection. I might just have to use that. So even if I do use it, I will have to make sure to pay attention where I actually find the, it the item. Maybe ASCII mode is best for this. Let's see. Go away, carrion crawler. Okay. Right. Okay. Um. It's always a good alternative, of course, to a... Well, what I wanted to do anyway is take that crystal of knowledge that I own, dip it in holy water, and use the blessed crystal of knowledge. Crystal of knowledge, because that will increase my learning. It did not help me find the staircases, though, which is probably not in that area. Though. Then, so it's where is it then? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna be finding that without the scrolls of item detection, which I have two of, so it's not too much of a waste. And it's over there in the upper right. Okay, where's my pickaxe? Oh, okay. Ah, thank you. Um, pickaxe, pickaxe, pickaxe. I'll kill that wraith first. And there we go. Success. And we're not gonna bother going down because that level is um, much too early for that level anyway. Not that it would be dangerous, but there's nothing to do until you're very, very late into the game. And so let's not bother with that. And there's the old barbarian. Apparently, I've killed some of that first kill monsters, but it's not enough yet. I forgot to turn off ASCII mode, actually. You can build, play the game just fine, like the way it used to be. No reason to deal with all that newfangled graphic stuff if you don't wanna. What did I just do? Oh yeah, I did a dwarven portal, portal quest. So, in the normal order of things, I go back to Dwarf Town, turn in the reward, turn. get myself the reward. I don't think I used that expression correctly. English be hard. And after that, suit up for the Water Temple and get that done. And once I have the water orb, I should be more than ready to do the Tower of Eternal Flames. Yeah. So, unless the game trips me up some... I'm guessing the game will trip me up at some point in the future, but for now, I've got a pretty good image of where to go. And better, better. Lots of walking, lots of walking. Master Swordsman just disarmed me, which means he gets to die by fire instead of by sword. Die by the fire, die by the sword. You just die anyway. If you cross Cheryl, the fearsome herfling lady. I'm guessing at some point, we'll, creatures in dungeons and, and so on will always run away from regular, from any person who enters the dungeon, walks around in just regular clothing. Because you know, if they're wearing some kind of armor or clothes or such, and they're just some regular old melee fighters, and you have a chance in hell. 
But if they wear regular clothing deep in a dungeon, you know there must be some kind of mage. And any savvy enough monster would just run like hell. Rather than risk any having any piece of that. Yeah, I don't want to use my pickaxe. I won't actually want to go back to the Monsters of Merelon. Thank you. No, I want to go in there, please. Thank you. Jeez. He truly has shown the mark of a great heroine. Your valor is unquestionable. Thus we will permit ye to venture into the depths of this dungeon which contain the most dangerous and foul, foul beasts. He has a strange concept of what constitutes a reward, I have to say. Thank you! Could I have the key to the room with all the bitches, please, instead? Nope. The way is now free for ye. Here is some more stuff you might find useful in your quest. Well, that I can get behind. It's always great to have stuff. A wand of digging. I, I, apparently I do have one already. A second wand of fireballs. And lots and lots and lots of more healing potions. I'm actually really stuffed up on those now. I have 14 extra healing. I think I have 4 or 5 ultra healing. So... Technically, I shouldn't even need the water orb all that much, though it does have one advantage in that you can burn it. And I should visit Waldenbrooks one more time for a shop, for a flogging session. Uh, Elven Shamir I can keep just for spare. Actually, what I'm going to do is first to the... Uh, no, no, that's not what I want to do at all. I can take off that armor, check the, what the Elven Chainmail does, nothing worth mentioning. Could it out, my Mythical Cap was cursed, though right now I don't even have anything else that I want to wear, so... Who cares? Boxing Gloves, which is a fun item. They... Improve melee to hit, but give you a massive penalty on range to hit. I'm guessing because you just... If you wear boxing gloves, it gets kind of hard to use a bow. That might be a justification behind it. Also, I also now own the elemental gauntlet, so I'm going to be using the heck out of that. There's a strange metal girdle. That's a girdle of weight. It's not very interesting. I should probably try out those metal boots. They are the Mansion boots. Perfect. Because I'm going to be doing the the thing at some point, and I don't want to use the thing at that point because they can be they're flammable. The seven league boots. I don't want to use the seven league boots and Tower of Eternal Flames because they're going to burn. Right. Um, blah, 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 blah. Jeez. Stuff gets confusing at some point. Eh, maybe. Should I use some. Eh, I could probably use some identification at this point before I sell some more of these items. Let's start off with the. Boxing gloves and the gloves of carrying and the studded gloves because now they have the elemental gauntlets. Neither of those are going to find any use anymore. Stuff that girdle of weight. I was stoked. I don't need the light boots either. I don't need adamantium swords and stuff. Nor the mythical long spear. And I can really don't need more than one sling. I mean, one sling, you might as well have one because. They weigh nothing. I never do anything with a cooking set. Kind of a waste. But I don't really need it for food, actually. And it has one use that I want to keep it around for, actually. Because it will also allow me to cook the corpses of creatures of chaos for delivery to wall, to thing. To who was the guy again? Guthalak, yeah. I'm getting bad with names. I guess it's the age. I guess it's old age at this point. I'm not getting any younger. 
No, no. I mean, I have been playing Ancient Domains of Mystery for ages. And it turns out I own a Wand of Destruction now. And at this point, it with a Wand of Destruction and a Wand of Paralyzation, it's hard to think of things that could make me lose this game anymore. I actually have pretty much everything I need to deal with the D50. The only thing that's kind of missing is a is teleport control. Once I have that, D50 should take like two minutes or something to beat. No comparison to what Hocus Pocus had to go through because Hocus Pocus did not actually have a wand of destruction. So I can show off that variant of the ending of the game. Which is nice. Actually, I own a potion of potential strength. I'm going to use that because I'm, I've reached my potential pretty much at this point. Okay, what more do I sell? I sell a topaz and an ember. And that's that. Hmm, still strained. And, and I'm using a girl of carrying. And I kind of would like to wean myself off the girdle of carrying. Doing that gets me at very strained, so that's a bit, a bit bad. Where does all the weight come from? Well, it doesn't help that my strength is pretty shitty. Yeah, it's the money and stuff and... Uh, okay, let's drink a potion of potential strength. And I kind of have to finish that stats training with herbs so I can drink my potion of potential gain my potion of gain attributes at some point hmm how do I get rid of more weight there's always stuff that you kind of want to have and that you kind of don't want to drop anywhere and forget about but if you if you add it all together, in the end, you just weigh yourself down. I don't really have any use for that cash, but I... Nah, I still kind of do, that's the problem. I need that cash for the casino somewhere down the road, and I don't want to have to fetch it again. So what I am actually going to do is... I'm going to... Hmm. Nah... Now, I can live like this for a while. After all, I have to train my strength anyway. Oh dear, yeah, well... Okay, I guess I will have to bless the girl of carrying at some point and just... Um, hold out until I can get the or Chaos Orb of Elemental Fire, which will increase my strength by 10 while I'm wearing it and solve that problem forever. Oh, I forgot one thing I wanted to do. While I'm still in a non-corrupting space, I want to read that Frost Spell with a Frost Bolt until it's gone, which should improve. Though it is actually the one spell book that it's probably going to do the least about well, like this, but I don't need it anyway. I'm still having trouble with lightning ball, which isn't good. Yeah, this isn't working out too well, lightning ball. Okay, let's shelve that for another time. And keep on going. Next stop, water temple. This time we're gonna take the route to... Actually, you know what? You can go to hell, I'm not killing all your spiders for you. I'm just gonna go, and you can have the spiders for company. So if you write for summoning all of them. Stupid summoners with their summoning. They should stop summoning. So I guess they would stop beating summoners at that point, and uh, that can't be a nice uh, existential crisis to suffer from. Being a summoner and stopping to summon. And Man, the kind of nonsense I go through while I'm going through all these levels that I've been through all the time.
already. And well, well, welcome for the Dwarven Halls. Hey, uh, yeah, I wanted to go here actually, but I, I didn't keep track of where I was. Now the Dwarven Halls, as you may be aware or not, are a dungeon. Are two levels that look at first glance to be fairly regular, but they have much higher danger level than anything around them. So you will find certain types of monsters, certain kinds, that are much more dangerous than you'd all may expect. Case in point, this guy's a Moloch. Molochs are one of those monsters that I can't be caught in melee with because they do do enough damage to kill me. But they're also very, very slow. So I'm fine. For some reason or another, quicklings look like Tinkerbell. I just kill Tinkerbell. So where are the down staircases in this place? Don't want to have to kill a Moloch. Giant frog, not very dangerous. Okay! Moloch's over here. What do I do? What do I do? They immune to fire. I'm not sure. Maybe fire. Maybe frost will work. Gonna have to try that. Nope. Immune to fire. Immune to frost. What that means for an elementalist is... Well, it's not good. I can tell you that. Now what I'm wondering right now is whether or not a Moloch... is actually resistant to teleportation because if there are not I can do this every time I see one and I'm just fine okay sometimes in Adom it's uh, to deal with a problem you don't have to kill something sometimes just running away is enough because there are not that many monsters that you are required to kill to complete the game. It's actually perfectly possible to complete the game without ever killing anything. As hard as that may be to believe. You're probably best off trying it by playing a bard and getting your companions to kill everything. I guess you can try it with a necromancer, though I don't think you'd get the initial corpses to animate. Oh, I am, you you can buy some of them sometimes from more uh, in the initial shop. Then you could animate that corpse to as an undead slave, have that kill everything, kill the newly killed monsters, create more undead slaves, in the end have a necromancer never kill anything himself. It's just hard because you also don't barely get any experience doing so, so you'd end up finishing the game at level 1 or level 2. Now, Dwarven Halls 2 is quite a bit more dangerous than Dwarven Halls 1, so I have to be fairly careful here. I do own a scroll of magic mapping, but ideally I'd want to save that. And what I could have done ages ago is put on my Van Alban's Cloak of Defense to make myself invisible and make it easier to sneak around. And bypass some of the more dangerous monsters along the way. I saw something kind of impressive looking, but it was just a troll king, and I'm trying. Well, kind of fine. I can apparently only really hurt it with my magic, but that's enough. Now, strength potential went up to 19. Good news, no. That's good news long term. I could now. Well. Blessed potential of dexterity. Okay, why not? Let's go with that. I'll also drink it non blessed because I don't really care. Potential mana, why not? Um, nah, nothing left here, and uh, what I wanted to do is eat the Morja roots. Why not? I guess I'll just rub myself with moss all over my body. It's kind of dirty. Oh! Yeah, and the Dwarven Halls also have more background corruption because of their danger level. So this might happen. I hear the constant whispering of chaos in, your th in my thoughts. That's great. What does that actually do? 
The new version of Adom actually add a whole lot of new corruptions to the corruption pool, which is kind of a neat change because it adds some diverse, adds some, it adds something. You used to be always know what the corruptions did, and now you have to uh, figure out what these new corruptions do. Learning plus four, willpower minus six, mana plus two. Uh, what else is there gonna happen? I don't actually know what this corruption does. I guess it's possible that it will randomly add some spell knowledge or something. Or maybe it really is just the extra learning. And the minus to willpower, which is pretty bad. Actually, because a willpower of 12 is does not... makes it fairly likely that you end up Um, confused a lot of the time during boss fights and that's not something that you want to be so but is it worth getting rid of I'm not sure okay quickling queen is kind of bad quickling queens are quickly queen uh, a quickly queen is Tinkerbell with a cape apparently and they have a poisoning attack that can get pretty nasty over time because they can apply it a bunch of times because as quicklings are quicklings have a speed if in the thousands and apply attack like 18 times per minute or something 80 times per turn or something it's not 18 no but they can poison you a whole lot of times and even with poison resistance that can get too much they also shrug off bolt spells fairly okay I thought they also shrug off bolt spells fairly well but turns out they're kind of shit at that after all so there's a bampy he can't see me he only knows I'm here and now that I've killed him with spells he knows where I am and he can kill me and there's a gremlin and the down staircases turn out to be in a part of the level that I don't I haven't explored so now I have to look for secret doors in this place, which is never a good thing. Master Swordsman and Mummy over here. That deserves a firebolt. And there's a brown a cave bear, and there's a orc chieftain, and there's a... Hey, what is that? Oh, fuck. Okay, um, panic mode. I do not want to fight a mimic hive mind without an um, amulet of free action. That's not something that I should be doing. Mimic hive minds are, of course, very, very powerful and have a paralyzing attack. So getting paralyzed against one usually means you're dead. Actually, why don't, why don't I just keep that on while I keep exploring that level, because you never know. Fuck's that thing. That, I believe, is a greater water elemental, and now I'm kind of... Yeah, fuck that noise. That gets teleported right away. And I can teleport that. Okay. And teleport spell costs 91 power points at the moment, so I am kind of... Nope. <laughs> if you won't go, I will. And I'll read a scroll of magic mapping, because I want to know... Yeah, yeah, the secret door is... Uh, <laughs> is over there anyway, so that was from an entirely wrong direction. Greater water elementals have a water breathing attack, and you can't get resistance against water breathing attacks. Water, which makes water the most damaging of the elements, so it's just as well that you don't actually fight any water bosses or anything like that. Unless you really want to, you can fight a water dragon, but. Yeah, well, let's not bother with that thing. And we're done with the Dwarven Halls. So, I didn't need any. I really didn't need that last thing to happen. But we made it out alive, so that's good. 
panic mode saved us again. Or maybe not. You never know, but better safe than sorry. Quasit. Silly looking little bird. Room with all the level with all the lightning vortices. Thankfully they can't really spread throughout the level. They're funneled on somewhere in that room. Can't really make it out all that much, just through random movement. We're back in this graveyard. Oh, take that long bow, okay. No one needs Gojari. My strained, blessed training is not really working out all that well. I kind of wanted to be at 18 time a long time ago. And that's Willpower 12, ladies and gentlemen. Annoying as fuck. And it's gonna be hard to get rid of, too. Because my willpower isn't that amazing to begin with. I've already maxed it out, actually. I don't think Mojo Roots can do anything much to help it grow. I don't have potential willpower, I don't think. So I'm kind of stuck with that. Unless I remove the corruption at some point. And I kind of don't want to do that because the learning boost is pretty nice. I don't have anything against an ex some extra learning. Luckily, the Elemental Orb of Water actually gives a passive willpower boost of 10 once I have it. And the Snake from Beyond does not use um, Mindcraft that affects the brain. So everything would be fine there. Fuck's that thing? Looks like a Hydra. Yeah, whatever. Let's go! Water seems to be constantly dripping from the ceiling of this level. We are at the Water Temple. Isn't that wonderful? Let's deal with the right part of the level first. Now I own a wand of digging as well as a pickaxe. I'm not sure what of the two I'll be using to get over there. Necromancy. Prancer. Whatever. How many ones of digging do I own there anyway? Ah, that's plenty. I can do, I can do some digging with these things. And the rest of the way I'll dig myself with the axe. Let's hope that axe doesn't somehow get destroyed too fast. I have demology, so I should check out a pile whether there's anything in there. With gemology, I actually should be using... Okay, the grooves are not much of a problem, as it turns out. They also have water-breathing attacks, but... Nothing to write home about, really. At this stage of the game. Invisibility helps quite a bit, because nothing here can see invisible. So you can fight anything one by one. It took some damage, but nothing really in the dangerous region of it. And because of the Ring of Regeneration, I don't, I'm don't. i not really afraid of poison at all. I just, I'm generally not very afraid of poison. I might have to be afraid of poison once I fight a snake from beyond and take too much damage from Lee, but... I'll try to avoid that anyway, because it, she corrupts. It corrupts too. That's one of the quirks of the German language that you're not immune to if you're trying to speak English. You 
subconsciously associate certain genders with certain words simply because they have that gender in German, just on a grammatical level. And you end up saying, the snake, she is dangerous. And sound like a kooky, strange German dude. Can I just swim over there? Oh, first of all, I should get an ank back on. But can I just swim over there? There's nothing that can take damage, right? Yep. Oh, well, a pickaxe can. So much for the swimming skill. I almost maxed it, too. Eh, you're drowning, you're drowning. Maybe you should take off all the stuff you're wearing if you want to swim. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I get, I'm getting it. Chaos Servant's not very dangerous. Gurus are really the kind of the problem that you're looking at here. I have to say, those Gurus look fairly gruesome, actually. They did a kind of a decent job. Very gruesome looking gruesome. No. Oh, everything's fine here. Kill one more of the gruesome looking gruesome. Gruesome. Get them come over here. So. The only annoying part about the water temple is uh, those water creatures that swim across the water who can reach where you can't reach them. Except if you want to swim too. And it looks like water demons just look like demons. Except they have this kind of watery thing above them. I don't know. Burning hands. I don't even want to think about it. Which I could have used burning hands and the grooves too. And it looks like the seas have sufficiently... Okay. Okay. We're going to fix that problem for a while. I lose four points of armor, but it's probably worth just for the convenience. Oh yeah, and I'm hungry too, because apparently nothing makes you hungrier than killing chaos creatures. Oh, I'm still the same old spells. So my guess what the corruption might do other than what it's doing right now is turned out to be wrong. Luckily those elementals up there are just regular water elementals. They're not nearly as dangerous as the greater water elementals that I run, ran away from before. Though they also are not invulnerable to burning hands like the other water creatures in here are. But still vulnerable enough. And there's the snake from beyond and more of these things. Please come out. Oh, well, while you're all in here, let's try doing this. That's fun, right? And, yeah, Snake from Beyond. I want, didn't want to melee her, actually. It. Melee it. Okay, tell you what. She's a girl from now on. I just decided that. And if you don't like that, you can, I don't know, hump something. Snake from Beyond is now a girl. A girly little running away thing. Just to be really sexist in here. Come here! Fight me! Didn't we used to run away? Apparently they added that because if you if it runs away across the water, that's just extra annoying. Well, screw off, Snake from Beyond. You got fried and good. It's enough for a level, too. And what do I level here? That's actually a good question. I should probably level archery. And I don't know, stealth? Looks like it. I could use some levels in gemology because I'm going to be doing some digging and you can get some stuff out of there. 
And because of my willpower drop, I don't actually get immune to pain, which means the next step should be greased lightning. Just for the speed boost, which is always nice. This time I have a much easier time swimming. We're going to apply the cooking skill to the snake from beyond corpse. Now we've got a cooked snake from beyond. Which, at some point, we're going to deliver to Guthalak. Being cooked, it should hold out for that long. Cooked corpses decay at a very slow rate. Before I'm going to do any of that, I'm going to keep exploring the Caverns of Chaos to prepare myself the maximum amount before tackling the Tower of Eternal Flames. I do have that Chaos over Mental Water now, which I might as well equip at this point. So my willpower doesn't suck anymore. Maybe if I level in this state, I could, should e I could even be able to... I might even be able to uh, get that immune to pain talent in three levels, which uh, actually is way too, way too far into the future at this point. So I missed my opportunity there. Actually, I didn't. I, know. I only got that orb after I already leveled. Looks like another demon creatures vault. None of these creatures can see invisible, so this is like... Uh, it's going to take ages to get through here, but... But the magic items you get from vaults can, can often be worth it, so you kind of feel compelled to do it anyway. And case in point! I've got Dragon Scale Mail. This one's from a white dragon, which has the same cold immunity effect that the ancient mummy wrappings would have. And the armor would be significantly better. And I think most of the important resistances are on the Bran Alban Scroke of Defense anyway, so... That is basically a straight upgrade to my items. So this was already worth it. Maybe I could find even more stuff in here. This is the main reason why I'm doing these levels. I, pretty much the only reason why I'm doing these levels before I go to the Tower of Eternal Flame is because the item drops start to become really good here. About as good as you can expect from the entire game. So just exploring these levels is simply worth it found by default. It's also good to attend that this is a Demon Creatures Vault, because they're actually pretty wimpy, with one exception. The Hellhounds are certainly not the exception. <laughs> yeah, 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 whatever. Fuck's this thing. Throwing club, no. Get lost. And that is the exception, actually. That is the Greater Demon. Now I've got Frost Bolts in here. Apparently that doesn't work. I don't like this. I'm sandwiched in here. I think I should tap my stores of arcane power for lightning ball. That works. I only have enough mana to do it twice, but that's already much of the work done. And that's my perception fucked. I hate you. I have perception of seven. I'm blind, basically. I really hate this guy. I should have done that earlier. Ah, oh, here's a bunch of stuff picked up from for the rest of the level. How do I fix all the... Uh, how, much, how much carrot juice do I have? Three uncursed potions. And here's an unidentified one. Yeah, that's only four points of perception I can make up for again. I'm just gonna have to play the rest of the game being shitty at seeing things. So if there ever were to be fan art of Cheryl, 
I guess you have to depict her with giant glasses because she can't see shit now. Of course, there's, there is no fan art of Cheryl yet. There will never be because I don't have fans. Yeah, I have no idea. Metal Helmet is a helmet of teleportation, which would be nice, except I still don't have teleport control. But I'm going to pick it up anyway. Hmm, a melon. Om nom nom. Okay. Now this room is full of lesser demons. There would ordinarily be a greater demon in here too, but he teleported out and had some fun in my expense. Actually, it's not just my perception that got f screwed. My appearance is also down the toilet. No, though that may of course be... No, it's not due to the corruption. Hmm, strange. A uh, cap of water breathing, which I might use later on to... Where if I were to dive down into the blue dragon cave. In the water dragon cave. Not blue dragon, water dragon. Blue dragons are shock dragons, so use lightning attacks. Then I can use that to breathe water and not take any damage down there. There are a bunch of ways to deal with bleedings, but bleeding usually isn't much of a factor in the game. Especially not. Now, once you have a ring of regeneration, you're dealing with the late game. And I'm kind of knocking on the doors of the late game at this point already. I'm already looking at my equipment going, ah, I'm gonna need this for that, and I need this for that, I don't really need anything much anymore to win. And that's kind of knocking on the door of the late game. It's also where you pick up these items, where you get crowned. Pick up some more powerful um, artifacts and stuff, and all that jazz. Fuck's, the, fuck's going on here. You can usually see better if you go into ASCII mode. Uh, everything looks fine from here, though. Nothing outrageous in there. I will have to pay attention to what that one thing is. Because it's a doppelganger king, I should absolutely not melee it. Yeah. You can turn. Graphics mode again. On again. It doesn't look any way like this one. Because I would see a copy of Shevo if that were the case. Oh, well, it is. Doppelganger Lord, that's not remotely as dangerous. Some nice corpses in here. Maybe I should take a break in the fighting and munch that troll. And then that Ogre Lord, which for some reason also didn't get me a point of strength. At this point, I'm starting to get fairly disturbed. I don't want to be stuck at 16 strength for the rest of the game. That's not a very respectable strength score. I'm much stronger than that. Or I should be. Fuck's that thing. Grey Slayer. Wonderful. Did I lose my sword? No. Okay. Spell lightning ball. I like that. 
We should try and find a way to read that thing at some point. Let's get that priestess while we can. Or there are even more spiders in here. And apparently there's another summoner somewhere. It's a black wizard sitting over there summoning crap monsters that nobody cares about being annoying as dick. Let's try and see if we can't get over there. Being invisible has its perk, certainly. Now we're confused because of that doppelganger lord and that's annoying as fuck. And solved. Die, Black Wizard. Frost Giant, not very dangerous. Let's get in the corner. We can only be attacked by three monsters at once from there and kill that Frost Giant dead with Frost Bolts. Everything fine. No Frost Giant corpse either, which is not that fine, but we am gonna live with it. And that is a. Still have my sword. Let's kill a master sword so we get disarmed or something annoying like that. Uh, stupid displacer beasts, hard to hit again. Right, okay. And that. Multicolored cloak, nice. Wait a second, now Ben Abel's goes to defense, I don't care. Oh, whatever, I can pick it up. Doesn't cost money to pick stuff up. Okay. <sighs> Thank God that's over. Probably a secret door somewhere here. Okay, turns out not. Then it's over there. Yeah, okay. So we've got another room here. Pile of items with an acid trap on it, so someone died there. And he wasn't me, so I don't care. And the down staircase is up here. Let's go back through that vault. An oak wand, I don't know what that is, so it's interesting. And welcome to the Banshee's level. The Banshee kills with a whale. If I hear her scream, I die. So the first thing you do once you enter the Banshee level is, as you might be aware, stuff your ears with this wonderful beast wax. And now I'm deaf. Now there's a bunch of corpses in here. Hopefully, one of them will be a giant corpse that will allow me to get myself healed. Comic lizards look pretty here. And so far, no luck. Caveman. Oh, there's a giant pile of corpses here. Well, let's go one by one. That's Troll King. That's an advantage corpse. Dark Orc, your muscles bulge, so score. Rest isn't interesting. And here we've got, well, we could, might, might as well eat Fire Lizard, but the rest isn't interesting either. So let's check the rest of the level. Quickly, excellent. Can't eat it yet. Not excellent. I'll pick it up on the way back, or something like that. Um, one of light, I guess. Hornet helmet, no. I do want to eat a troll king. Okay, nothing interesting in here. Okay, 
Okay, uh, I think we're, it's about time that we face the Banshee. Okay, she kind of looks like the other ghost, except her mouth is kind of huge. I mean, look at that thing. That's just not attractive anymore. I kind of imagined her as more attractive. I don't know, it's uh, this kind of borderline necrophiliac thing. Well, um, you know she... I mean, you know she's female, you know she was spurned by lovers, so imagine the kind of beautiful, so this kind of otherworldly beautiful look. Except she looked like that. Kind of a bus kill. Anyway, um... Done. Okay. Uh, what do we have here to eat? Uh, to roll, let's see. Nope, nope. Where's the rest of the level? How do I get to the rest of the level from here? It's uh, kind of the big question now. Maybe up here. Nope. Um, well kind of want to see the rest of the level because there's going to be more corpses that I want to eat. Ah, it looks like there? Yeah, this is a weird part of the Banshee level is that the Banshee, the room the Banshee is in is lined for some reason with secret doors. My guess is that it was done that way to prevent you from accidentally opening it too early. You're supposed to have some kind of a warning. Uh, troll chief is eatable as well as a hill giant well uh, there's a bunch of edible corpses here but they never rot and the only interesting ones are those that give some kind of stat boost like the trolls or the giants for instance I finally got to strength 18 with these corpses which might go a long way to making me less dependent on that girl of carrying before long I can't use it in the Tower of Eternal Flames, for instance. Then again, I'm going to have to drop a whole lot of items before I go in there. Dark Elm Wizard, I don't wanna really want a uh, toughness drop there, so no. Ogre King. Wait a second. That is quite a big ogre. Let's soften it up with some fire spells, and then... For more in Giant, does give strength boost sometimes, but always gives an appearance drop, so... And then it's kind of a matter of well, how much you mind that. Never, 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 never eat a Gorgon Corpse. You can do it if you have an Amulet of Petrification Resistance, but even then it doesn't really help. At all. Did I eat that yet? I did. I didn't get strength from it though. Troll Chief. Troll King. Right. And I have myself a little grand old bonus. That troll didn't mind at all. That to see the corpses of fallen comrades eaten by something he could not even see. He isn't even hostile or anything. He just goes on his trolly very way. Time to get some more of those moss rubbed all over my body. Uh, here, and eat some whatever I have left in terms of mojo roots. I can't. Disappointing. Animated armor? Yeah, I can kill that. Minotaur? Yeah, I can get them. Get wrecked. Okay. only trouble is to, uh, before I advance, I kind of want to get the rest of these corpses that I've st stored already eaten, because I think they will rot instantly if I leave the level. And Bernalvin's Cloak of Defense, whatever it does, it doesn't uh, appear to... So what I'm gonna do, I think I should have one or two Stamacemtia herbs in my pack. So now I can empty my stomach. Or as they're also known, bulimia herbs. Which 
allows me to munch on more of these corpses, and even then I'm running out of space for an eater for more in giant. My masses enlarge and I grow a ward. Very good trade-off. And we'll back to exploring. Because that's all the... Oh yeah. I am now going to use... This is the only relevant use of the command clean ears. So let's celebrate it. Capital E. You clean your ears. And I can hear again. Hooray. That and wipe face uh, are star. Uh, those are the commands that exist that Adom is kind of famous for. Um, you never use these. Why do we have to know these? And the answer is, of course, you don't actually have to know these commands. You just have to know that they exist, so you can look them up uh, once you once one of the very few use cases actually occur. Uh, that's a room full with ghost lords. Luckily, they can't see invisible. Excuse me. Excuse me. Passing through. Where are the stairs? Where are the stairs? I don't really want to chase all of these things through the through the walls or something like that. So let's just go. Not a troll to eat. Trolls are always good eating. You really want to have that extra heal. I mean, it doesn't hurt, certainly. But though, it's not nearly as impressive as it sounds to have that maximized natural healing rate. Because the natural healing rate, even if maximized is still quite a bit slower than <laughs> just having a ring of regeneration. That's a regular old doppelganger. Nothing dangerous here. Room is very humid. No idea what it does, but that's what it is. Trying to find a secret door, no success. Anyway, I don't need a secret door because I've skipped a regular old door at some point. Broken longbow. Well, if it's a special longbow, I might. I just might go through the trouble of fixing it at some point. That thing should be easy to destroy with a frost bolt, but. That is a supercharged fire water because it can survive a frostbolt blast. Berserker King, let's not tangle too much with those. Burning hands can do it. How much burning hands do I have left? 394, that's actually not that many. Maybe I should go back to using frostbolt to, by default. At least if I can do it. And maybe I should just take off that use one of these torches to light these rooms. I want to light them one by one with light. Oh, looks like that's a blink dog. Woof! Kill something and die or something. I don't want to kill you myself. <sighs> kind of poorly equipped to uh, to get teleport control because I don't kind of don't want to kill these things I mean there's nothing really stopping me from it I wouldn't drop down to neutral at once it just feels bad feels inappropriate from a role-playing perspective it's a very dull room you shouldn't stay too long in a dull room because that loses your precious learning points stone giant killed dead didn't get me strength point. That's bad. But I can live with it. This is one of the rooms that tends to trip you up because it has a two upstair cases. You climb down to it and then you climb up out of it again. That's simply to trip you up a little bit. 
Some of the Caverns of Chaos levels are out of order like that, just to trip you up. That's an Eternium Sword. Nice. Could have a good property. Might be worth using if it's like Eternium. An Eternium Two Handed Sword of Penetration. That would be the stuff Adon Weapon Dreams are made of. Or just go to hell. Hmm. Don't drop a corpse. See if I care. Ivan Golem. Hmm, that could be a bit annoying. Also immune to flame. Not though I think immune to ice. If I ever manage to actually hit it. Because these things have kind of... Uh, yeah, looks like I can eventually hit them and then kill them with ice. Or I just do this. Didn't really stop. Wasn't really anything stopping me. <laughs> I wish I kind of had, I kind of wish I had regular lightning bolt because that's one of the better weapons to deal with Dark Forge. All I have is lightning ball, and I don't seem to be very good at learning from the spell book. Though it might be work work out better now that I have two. Uh, it looks like karmic baby dragons don't care. Yeah, to kill those you actually have to use missiles. It turns out my damage is way too shitty to harm them. Oh, looks like I found something I can't kill. Well, that's annoying. You just earned yourself a spot on my naughty list. My naughty list has dragon slay. Oh. Okay, you didn't earn your spot on anything. You're just there. But I do more damage with crossbows, so let's try that. Kami creatures are the ones that you should not attack in melee, in case you didn't know. And this could take ages, and it's uh, just about overdue to pause to make to end another episode of these. So how about I just save the game right there and we're gonna go back to dealing with that little thing next time. See you till next time for Ancient Domains of Mystery.